car is a much smarter driver than I am. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh my god, it's going the right speed limit. It's staying in the lane. It knows how to steer better than I do. This thing is amazing! Autopilot. It even sees the cars and shows them on the screen. Look, there's one there. See, there's a car there. There's one there. See, there's a car there. Okay, it's crazily figuring in this crazy situation in out right now. Mile, Look at this. Oh my god, oh my god, it's totally figuring it out. Whoa, it's talking to me. Oh my god, it's figuring it out. This is amazing. I honestly fully believe that this car is a better driver than I am. And I'm a pretty good driver. I would I haven't gotten a ticket in like 20 years. But this car, wow. It'll never get a ticket, it'll be safe. I trust it. This big uh this big truck right here cut me off and it just slowed down so softly and nicely. Didn't jerk or anything. And it showed me right here in the screen that the car was cutting me off. It was crazy. Look, it even has the shape of the truck on the front, on the picture. This is crazy. It like has accurate pictures of all the cars pulling up on the sides. It's got sensors all around it with uh, not only radar, but I think it's called LiDAR. And I think it's like camera sensors that like use artificial intelligence i think to kind of figure out what the cars look like and where they are and now keep left oh my god stay on US and it knows where i'm going it's telling me to go in the right directions this is crazy oh my god i love this oh, it knows how to change lanes it was just amazing so watch it, it's changing lanes automatically for me right now oh my god and i just passed that truck that i was following and it automatically knew what to do it's oh my god. getting hairy Cars are braking and it's braking. This is insanity. In one mile, take exit 433B on the right onto Interstate 80 towards 7th Street, Bay Bridge. I wonder if it's gonna take the exit for me or if I have to do it. This will be, I'm gonna experiment. No, I better not. Because if I miss the Bay Bridge, we're screwed. Okay, never mind. I have to say, this car drives like a champ. I don't normally drive this fast and this aggressively. It's not aggressive, but it's definitely like following cars closer. It's going a little faster around corners than I go. It's like, it's like a confident driver. I am definitely a grandma driver. I take things very cautiously because I, I don't know, I just, rather be safe than sorry and so this car is like nope I'm safe I know what I'm doing so it's kind of weird traveling at a little bit faster speed and a little bit closer to other cars than I would normally do it but I feel comfortable because I, I know that I've experimented enough now see the car is slowing down right now the car in front of me slowed down and it's slowing down this is insane all right here we go Bay Bridge into San Francisco hi my hometown Okay, we're gonna take exit 43B on the right. Oh my goodness. It took the exit for me. That was insane. I didn't do anything. Okay, we'll see what happens to this. Oh my God, there's a car turning. Okay, oh, and it slowed down. That was amazing. Ah, oh, it even told me there was a car slowing down. That's amazing. I'm in love. This technology is just incredible. I could never have imagined this when I was a kid, that I would be sitting in an automatically driving car. The future is here. I'm happy to be alive. This is a crazy time in the world to be alive. Not only to, you know, love on people you love, but witness the world's technology changing us in so many ways. I'm happy for this because you know what? I think we'll drive safer as a in world. In 1,000 feet, keep left to Whoa. stay on Interstate 80. There's a lady dancing up there bridge. in the tower. You see that? That's crazy. I think that's a San Francisco art project. Okay, so let's see. Is it gonna take the right turn? Stay in the right lane. Go on the go on the Bay Bridge. Keep left to stay on Interstate uh -oh. 80 East. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's not doing it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Taking over. Okay, so I'm getting the point here that I don't think it takes turns for you. I think you have to kind of keep it in line. Okay, that's good to know. Oops. That's the windshield wipers. That is autopilot, okay. Whoa, it's going fast. It's catching up to the speed limit. Whoa, that's scary. 
Okay, this is strange. This is strange. It's merging. It's merging. Oh, what's going on? I don't like this. Okay, I'm taking over. What was it doing? Okay, that was the first time I've seen it do something I didn't like. But I'm sure it had its reasons. I probably should have just let it go. I don't know what it was doing now. Okay, back in autopilot. Oh, you know what? No, I'm gonna take it out of autopilot. Um, I'm going under a bridge and I don't know how the GPS is gonna work. So yeah, okay, taking over. And I also think that the autopilot only works on certain highways. So, I mean, that will, will let me, nope, oh, what? Okay, that's crazy. Nope, I think it, I don't think it's an autopilot. I think that was just cruise control. Yeah, that's what was going on, okay. So when it was drifting over, it was in autopilot, which I could see from, or I mean, it was in cruise control, which you can see when it hits the 70 mark, but this steering wheel mark over here is autopilot, and that was not blue. So that's what was going on. I thought it was in autopilot, but it wasn't. Okay, so users be warned. Don't try to put it in autopilot when it doesn't want to. And if it doesn't want to, pay attention so you know it's not an autopilot. All right. So I may have been wrong about all that. I might have just not tapped the autopilot right. I think you have to ta you have to tap it twice in quick succession on this little knob bar over here behind the steering wheel, and I didn't do that. So that's why it wasn't in um, autopilot. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I could have gone over the Bay Bridge in autopilot, even though I was going under a covered highway. Anyways, just an FYI. Still learning. So, uh, nothing exciting happened. It was just a very boring drive, but oh my God, I wish I could have shown y'all the New Bay Bridge. It was pretty fantastic. Maybe I'll grab another shot of it later on my trip. All right. Now we're gonna see what happens with this merging and lane changes and all this stuff. So let's see if it actually, maybe it does turn lanes. I don't know. I'll try one more time. I know you can change lanes by just no, press- keep left to stay on Interstate keep left, 80 East. Keep left to stay on Interstate 80 East. East. Okay, so let's see if it changes lanes. Whoa, yep, it changed lanes. Okay, so I guess you can just tell it to change lanes. <laughs> and it does it for you. Whoa, okay, that's pretty cool. And then if it's saying you need to take a left now, I don't think it takes a left for you. You have to hit the lane change. Okay, now it's saying stay in the right three lanes. Uh, yeah. In 1,000 okay, feet, here we go. take exit 8B on the right onto Interstate 580 East toward California 24, okay. Hayward Stockton. All right, we're doing it. This is cool. Okay, we're in the right lane. So now take exit 8B on the right. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Oh, changing lanes. Looking good. Let's change lanes again. Whoa, she's so smart. You're such a smart car. This is crazy. I can only imagine how nice this is in rush hour traffic when you could just let your feet rest. Maybe we'll get stuck in rush hour traffic tomorrow on purpose, just for fun. See how nice it is. We'll go back over the Bay Bridge, go hang out in downtown San Francisco for a little bit, come back in the glowing nights of the city lights. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow for y'all. Oh, now I have to go left, okay. Nope, oh, nope. Okay, left. Now take exit 19A on the left. Oh my god, it's parking for me right now. I did auto park. It's gonna try to auto park. Oh my god, I'm not even touching it. Well, stop, 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 stop. Oh, okay, that didn't, that was, I scared, I got scared. Let's see, resume. Okay, good. Yeah, I hit the brake on that one. Huh. Interesting. Let's go see how good of a job it did on this parking. Okay, see, it didn't know that there was six inches from here to here. Okay, it's parking out into this area a little bit, but hey, I thought that was pretty impressive. It's nice and tight to the curb straight that's pretty amazing this is a situation where the autopilot is actually incredibly helpful it's extremely low visibility fog but this car has radar so it can tell what's in front of me when my eyes can't so this is extremely helpful right now 
Look at this. It slowed down um, with this car in front of me before I could even see the car. So that was pretty cool. I mean, this is really, really low visibility. Um, we're talking like 100 feet, maybe. Maybe a little more. There was a sign back there that um, said, reduce your speed, dense fog. You know, one of those digital highway signs. And um, I had been going the flow of traffic with this autopilot on. Speed limit 70, you know, traffic's going 80. <clears throat> so I maxed it out to 65, five below. And sure enough, within a minute or so, this car got noticed by the Tesla and it slowed down right before I could see it. So pretty cool feature to have in a high density fog situation. And I would say it would pretty much probably drive safer than a human in situations like this, I bet. And imagine if all cars had this feature, then we could probably avoid those 60 car pileups where it's foggy and icy and all that. I don't know, just a thought. I don't know about the ice, but definitely would help for, you know, those situations like this, where I'm sure there are situations like this, even out here in Tracy, California, where I'm at, where it gets so dense that you get pileups. But if everybody had radar and LIDAR, or whatever it's called, the camera and fog sensors with radar, man, be so helpful. On my way home to San Francisco from Manteca and Modesto, I had to find electricity, juice, to fill this car, because it was not gonna make it back to San Francisco. And um, the mapping system has, I'll show you in a sec, has Tesla stations located all over the map. And you just tell yourself, I wanna go to San Francisco, but I need to find a Tesla charging station and it finds one for you on the way before you run out of gas. And it'll even warn you if like I was trying to go somewhere and I didn't have enough energy to so say, you're gonna to need to start at this specific Tesla charging station on the way. So it's really amazing how you can't really let yourself get in trouble too easily. It's kind of built in. So anyways, here I am with a bunch of other Teslas charging, it's kind of like a party. Most people are hanging out in their cars because you can hang out and watch movies on the internet <laughs> on your Tesla dashboard. So there we are, charging. Should take about an hour. But some people say if you only want to go 80%, it actually goes to 80% in about 20 minutes. So here we are, charging up. Like a Look, so what else is there to do around here? Well, there's a Bass Pro Shop. There's a mall you can go watch a movie. There's tacos, restaurants, brew house. It's kind of nice that they put it in a place where you can just go do stuff. Oh, another nice feature. You get to go in the... the Time remaining right there, 15 minutes. And I think you can even have the app remind you that it's um, full. Hi, California. Hi, San Francisco. We're in San Francisco. So here is me finalizing a uh, parking auto parking so you gotta i think you gotta drive to your destination on a map and then when it knows that you've reached it so you can see that it's reached it it'll tell you that there's a parking spot available if there's one open and just offer to park for you <laughs> literally it will parallel park for you this is insane and i know a bunch of people in my life who would love to have their car parallel park for them so check this out here's my spot i'm at my destination done Okay, see, and it says P. It knows there's a parking spot right there, which there is. See? Isn't that cool? It, like, knows that there's a parking spot. So then you put it in reverse by pressing up. And then it says auto park ready. Start. And I'm not holding onto the wheel at all. It's doing it by itself. Oh, my God. 
Oh my God, that is so cool. Okay, and now it's gonna pull forward. Oh, it didn't pull forward. <laughs> That's funny, last time it did. Um, this is funny though, because I'm in front of a garage. But you can't see it, but anyways, it didn't. Oh, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, see, there's the garage. It didn't know that that's actually not okay to park in front of. Obviously, it wouldn't. But last time, it finished the job by pulling within an inch of that car up there, but didn't hit the car. Freaked me out, but it didn't. I let it go. 